Edson. It's all good. Ouch. It's all good. Oh. How's everybody doing on this fine, fine day? What? What do you need? Nothing. Eight people, ten thumbs up. We're cruising. Jay Chris, good to see you, buddy. Good country. Let's go. Glad to hear it, Fuse Lit. Lovely, John Hudson says. He's doing lovely. Shade Tree. Shade Tree's in the house. <laughs> Good to see you, Kevin. Hey, let's just let's just start it off right here with we got 10 people anyway. I'm gonna say it a few times throughout the video, so through the live. Josh Kinslow, JK, shush up. The rain has finally stopped. Five days straight. Wow. Kevin Maxim, great to see you, buddy. Are you did you run out of snow yet, Kevin? <laughs> Working on community dives, right on John Hudson. I hear good things about that, sir. Anyway, if you haven't gone over to uh, Chainsaw Canucks channel, I'll post it in that. please go give him a sub, sub, a sub. He's working hard at getting to 3,000. He's kicking butt. Ozdak, good to see you, buddy. I never know which channel I'm on anymore. When I click on the lives, right on, JK. It's great to see you, buddy. Good country, heck yeah. Yeah. Old Chainsaw Canuck got fresh nine inches on the ground from this storm. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Pennsylvania's flooding. West Virginia looks like it's flooding. Thanks, dear. Oh, look at this go. Oh, yeah. Now we're kicking it. Nine, nine more inches. That's nuts, Kevin. There's some gnarly storms going on over there, huh? <clears throat> Andrew Scott. Just do it. Right on. Good to see you, Andrew. Thank you, buddy. Made fresh kitty litter today. MS-271. Get some. Yeah. Snow's pretty well over here, but it is 48 degrees. Woodchuck, man. Good to see you, Woodchuck. Yeah, it's a kind of a not-so-nice day out today here. Windy. Kind of chilly. Got a fire going, even. Burning some of that old white fur. Old grand fur. Andrew Scott. Hi, Mama Taz. <laughs> oh, I should probably turn this like this, huh? Just so folks can see that bad boy. You see that? Oh, yeah, my cup's in the way. Hi, Sparky. I'll move my cup. There, you can see it a little bit better. There's Kevin's channel. There's the link to uh, Chainsaw Canucks channel. Super good dude. Super good dude. Works on a lot of oddball saws, re rebuilding stuff. He built a plastic piston. He's doing it. I was going to go find some rock chucks to pop way too much wind. Wanted to get out to the saw shack today, but all good wood is still soaked. Johnny Arnett. I spent all day talking with Johnny Arnett and Bellhopper. All day. All day. I just got off like 20 minutes ago. From like 5 this morning. <laughs> it was a great day. Thank you, Johnny, for coming on, buddy. I appreciate it. Hey, Bellhopper. 
Thank you, buddy, for letting me hang out today with you guys. James R. Nice to meet. You. What's up, everyone? Glad to have you, James R. Welcome to, welcome to the live, buddy. Evan. Evan? Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Johnny, you get it running? <laughs> Not yet, buddy. Not yet. It's getting closer, though. Super getting closer. Welcome to all the new Tasmaniacs, Good Country says. Thank you for that, Good Country. Sparky. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, Good to see you, Oz, that man. I told you it wasn't cold. Well, I and then you questioned me. me. You're cold or my cold? And you didn't answer me. I just ran it's, out. No, I said you're always cold. <laughs> well, don't go, Evan. <laughs> I don't want to go to work. I don't want to go to work either. Where's Old Timer at? Old Timer's probably out there running his new saw that he got. I didn't get a chance to see that video. He just opened it. Samish, good to see you, Ben. Been way too long since I've been here. Good to see you, great folks. Great to have, great to see you, Ben. Hope things are going well for you, buddy. What was your package? Oh, we're gonna open that up. Oh, okay. Just her heart. <laughs> oh, goody, that he's having fun. What an old timer! He got a well, he got a 372 clone, I think. Clone saw. Is that, or maybe it wasn't a 372. Maybe it was just clone saw. Aaron A. Lynch and I. Oh, Lynch. And, oh, so it's it's probably is. Aaron. Aaron it. Lynch built him one. Aaron fixed it. Fixed it. It's the one Bill Steven got. I have that. I haven't, Evan, I haven't figured out how to get them to pay me for not being there, unfortunately. Oh, Kevin Jones watched it. That 372 clone old timer got a runner. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I fused it. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Oh, old timer. He's coming out to Taz Blues. I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait either. Oh, man. It's going to be so fun. It's going to be crazy, folks. Will Worth in 500i was just purring yesterday. Right on, Will. The old 500 high, it's that's a pretty good saw, man. It's a good saw. Recreational reptile. That's right, good country. Things are going great. Like a cat trying to cover up crap on a marble floor, but life is good. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> right on, Ben. <laughs> I love it. F100. Tell them you got that narcolepsy so you can't take naps. <laughs> Scrabbling a bit. <clears throat> yeah, I'm back to back on nights. Tomorrow night. I go back on nights. But got out cutting. Go time, eh? Right on, Andrew. <clears throat> Wish these parts I ordered would get here. 395 vent kit. Vent kit. And a CS390 air filter and other nonsense. Right on, Jay Chris. Parts coming in, fixing saws. That's awesome, buddy. Kim Wilson and Healed Heart. Hello, Tasmaniacs. Lots of love from Angie and I. We love you, Kim Wilson and Angie. We miss you. A lot. Old timer. There's old timer. <laughs> the old hot rod runner. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad you got out cutting, Andrew. East Coast Ozzy. Hello, everyone. Hello, Ozzy. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks for joining us on this live today. <clears throat> oh, 
Old timers got a new toy. Muffler. Good to see you, Muffler Delete. Yeah. Must have heard his name being called. Yeah, his ears must have been burning. <laughs> Scott Wilson. Good to see you, Scott. Uh, Sorry, I was messaging with John Kimmy, um, if you want to mention John Bob has photos. I will. Okay. I asked him if, it, if he wanted to, so he said sure. You bet, a lizard saw. Thanks, we love you back. Sorry to have, sorry to be so absent. Tons going on, and now mom's in the hall. Oh, no. Sorry to hear that, Kim. Oh, I know you guys are busy. Oh, yeah, way busy. I know you guys are busy. You're always right here. Always. Thanks for checking in, Kimmy. Old timer, were you running the 372? Damn, the baby's squealing at me. <laughs> I saw you got old timer. Sorry, Kim. Prayers for you, Kim. I know, Ozzy. How's the weather down under Ozdat? Ozdat, man. How you getting on, mister? What do we got? Oh, we're doing we're doing pretty good. Twenty six folks, twenty thumbs up. I forgot my old timer. Old timer, thank you. I did get the job I want. Nice. Should start soon. Yeehaw! Right on, Kim Wilson. I'm glad to hear that. That's some good news. Get out and get me firewood. Oh, is it winter down there? Yeah, Dad, it's turning winter on him. Thumbs up. Thanks, good country. Congrats on the job, Kimmy from J. Chris. Nice. Billy. Congrats, Billy from Billy. Screwdriver tuning. Not good to see you, Billy. We're cruising. Cruising right along. <clears throat> yep, don't forget Chainsaw Canuck. Trying to get him to the 3,000 subscriber mark. He's there. He made it? Yeah. Nice. Well, if you see this, if you see this, Kevin McKinney, congratulations, buddy. That's awesome. Mikey, how that lizard running? <laughs> Prayers and love. Scott Wilson just finished up an open transfer 61 Husky Taz, man. She sure liked the new mods. Ha ha, plug is beautiful. Right on, Scott. That old 61s, man. That one that Jason Tongue worked on for me. That thing runs great. Van Life rocks. Oh, God, shut up, Kevin. <laughs> Uh, oh man, John Bob right old timer. You are now part of the Lizard Club. Yes, yes. Welcome to the Lizard Club, Mister Old Timer. <laughs> we love it. Andrew, you bringing your five hundred Ida Taz Palooza, right? Have a good nap, Tim. <clears throat> All night, so I'm going to catch a nap. Roll on, Tasmaniacs. Thank you, Kim and Angie. We love you. <laughs> Secretly smiles when I... Yeah, that's right. That's right, Shade Tree. I get started on my 55. Most of the parts I need are here. Scott, shush. Do we need a clicker volunteer to keep Mama all clicked up? <laughs> should I? yeah, you should bring your five hundred I. I think I think you should. Yes, John Bob. Sparky does need a skunky sauce. Yes, Angie says we love you back. Awesome, <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah, 
Of course, muffler notices the little baby. Nice echo. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Sitting right there? It's too small. Shake your head at me, Van Life. I pay attention <laughs> to all little things. <laughs> Don't mind me back here. <clears throat> Fuselet, 500 eyes are fun. I hope it stops raining here so I can run mine. Yeah, buddy. Billy's making dinner now, smash tacos. After it's time to transfer vegetable plants, anybody else excited for new growth time of year? William Klein, good to see you, William Klein. Jason, good to see you, buddy. Just finished my home dialysis training. Oh, right on, you got the training done. Good for you, man. Good for you, buddy. I hope that all goes well. Robert Green, yeah. Great to see you, Robert. That will make life easier. Much, much, much nicer. Less travel. It's when van life goes quiet that we got to worry because she's plotting. <laughs> right? <laughs> what the hell? I'm not plotting anything. <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Went to the big city for my ankle yesterday. Yeah, John Bob, I heard you bubbered that up. A couple weeks still here until planning season. I sure am excited. Need this yard to dry out soon. New grass is all clumpy and growing fast. We need rain bad. Robert Green, you just got a foot of wet, heavy snow. Gross. Kevin, Kevin Maxim got like nine inches where he's at. That's horrible. It's awesome and just freed up a ton of time. Absolutely, yeah, way less driving around and doing all that kind of stuff too, huh? Oh, John Bob's got to get an MRI. <laughs> William Klein, did you get my email? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. The one about the one about opening up the axe and stuff, buddy. I hope everything's going good in that situation, brother. <laughs> yeah, John Bob, you did get a bunch of water. <laughs> bunch of water yeah looks like muffler somewhere down by muffler got a whole bunch of water too started all my plants inside scott i'm on top of it this year <laughs> hope all goes well john bob g john bob hope it's not too bad awesome only plants i grow <laughs> are smokable <laughs> j <Jay> chris <laughs> hope it goes well for you john bob hello old timer Get well soon, JB. Right on. Thank you, old timer. Mark, it's pretty ugly. Oh, that's not good, John mm -hmm. Bob. Yeah, when John Bob's using a cane, not good. Old Blue. Good to see you, Old Blue. Good evening, everyone. Goes well, old timer. Thirty. If anybody's into, if anybody's looking for a twenty-five eleven T, one of these little beauties, hoarded. John Bob Millwright has some of these hoarded up, ready to rock for sale. Does Aaron have? some left as well i have no clue i just did it with johnny bobby yes mama muffler good to see you mama muffler jump on my sister just broke her ankle in four places in the hospital i'm kind of mobile yeah, John Bob's got 2511 T's all ported up, ready to rock. <sighs> You're welcome, John Bob.
They're a pretty amazing little chainsaw. For tree work, yes. Yeah, for, yeah. They're super light. They're pretty powerful, I'm telling you, for 25cc. It's pretty crazy. Four good plants. The others didn't sprout yet. Growing cilantro, basil. Forget muffler can pour sauce too. Absolutely, yeah, because that that one there is ported by muffler. If you want to see that in action, there'll be a video coming out soon of of this one, and the ones that and John Bob's porting them too. But mufflers, mufflers doing good things. Mufflers also he's doing work for Gap Arborist. If you're into arborist equipment. Look up Gap Arborist. Mufflers joined up with them doing some port work for tree saws and other saws. Mufflers cranking them out. John Bob, you going to buy the chainsaw off Timu? There's a chainsaw on Timu. The little saws there for is. the size are the best. They are. They are. Mama Chaz, start some, start some mint. Keeps the flying bugs away. What the heck are them things? Thanks, Billy. Has a plate and screws in that ankle. Ooh, that makes it a bit worse when it gets messed up after they've already gone in and done something with it. What is it? It just says chainsaw. The chainsaw chainsaw? It just says chainsaw. <laughs> uh guilty of treason. Six, Jacob. Sixty cc's. Jacob from Guilty of Treason, he bought a I think it was a climbing saw. It might have been a regular saw, but it was a chainsaw chainsaw. The bar said chainsaw. The side cover said chainsaw. It was chainsaw chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny video. Three. <laughs> Seventy-two <clears throat> for one hundred sixty-four dollars. I see, old timer. I broke mine in my teens. Been operated on before. Start a saw. They don't like two strokes. That's right, Kevin. Oh. I've seen those saws on Timu. They look like they would be fun, especially for the price. Yeah, if you, it breaks, oh well, you're only out a hundred bucks. Chainsaw sixty cc. I bought a purple pink way. Oh, yeah. How is the old purple pink way doing? <laughs> that chainsaw chainsaw video was funny. Right, old timer? I laughed so hard I had to rewind it so many times just to get back to where he started saying chainsaw chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds dumb. Oh, it was awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> old Jacob, man, he puts a different spin on stuff. It's, it, it's pretty comical. I, I like it. <laughs> chainsaw chainsaw yeah we're gonna run this chainsaw chainsaw <laughs> i thought about it uh billy yeah i thought about it about what starting some mint yeah if it keeps the flying bugs away do it i don't have a lot of area you don't need a lot of area for them little pots i just gotta buy more buckets is that what you're saying Time. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ported it and sold it. The kid that bought it loves it. Nice. He says it's fun to watch it whip his dad's steel. <laughs> oh, man. That's, oh, that's <laughs> <funny>. yeah. <coughs> Too funny. That was pretty funny. Too funny. <laughs> Purple pink way. <laughs> chainsaw, chainsaw. Yep. Man, that was funny. Good times. Good times in the saw community, that's for sure. Anybody seen anybody seen or heard from Patrick Lacey in the last week or so? Ported it and sold it. 
Billy, did you see Guilty of Treason drop that huge cedar by himself? That was my favorite video. He really put the work in that day. I don't think I, I don't know, I don't know if I've seen that one. Citronella worked much better than mint for us. Chip Chip. Good oh, to see you, Chippy. God, Chipper's here. Let's get her on. <laughs> Ooh. What? You gonna try it out? Not on camera. What? No. And I can't get sawdust in my You're boots. not gonna try out your, the I new can't chain? Get sawdust in my boots. I can't believe Hudson didn't notice that. Maybe Hudson can't see it. Can Hudson see it? No, no he can't see it. That's too far away. Where's the booster cable shirt? <laughs> it's in the house. You never, you're never around when I wear it, Chippy. <coughs> Red Stillers. Hello, everyone. Hello, Red. Good to see you, buddy. Hope everybody's having a good week. I'm too blind to see. <laughs> oh man, you, you, you can't you can't miss it if if it was in the camera you wouldn't be able to miss it buddy you would notice right off the bat. Eighteen hundred kilometers away, of course I wouldn't be around. Chippy, you act like we don't talk on the phone. <laughs> Video calls every day. Timu has a three seventy two clone for one hundred sixty five dollars. Link above. It got retracted or something, Jay Chris. He can't do links. Oh. <laughs> Only monitor, or whatever, whatever we are. John Bob, I have my jersey on. I'll put it up. Very odd. Something popping like popcorn. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, it's popping for sure. I can't believe she's not going to try it out. I'm going to try one out today, though. We'll, we'll go out and try it. New chain. New chain on the on the hot rod muffler delete 101 echo. We have had flood warnings the past three days, but it's been a great week. Hope your week is going good, Taz. My week's going pretty good. I'm getting a new design cup for Mama Taz for the bad name she called me. <laughs> Who's talking shit now? Old timer. Is that the 372 clone? Uh, whatever it is. It look, it's really dumb looking. I'm but Jay Chris said there's a 372 clone. I think it is. Um... Do it for the pygmies. Pygmies mom and What am I doing? What, what time John Bob, I have not made a video in a long time. I made Aaron and I a Skunk Works <laughs> hockey jersey. Oh, sweet. We are supposed to get three quarter inch of rain by tomorrow you know what i'm going out and give the farmer tech 372 a good run right on jay chris see you later gators right on jay chris have fun be safe buddy tear it up reds just got eight inches of snow i was hoping to be done with the white with that stuff i think kevin maxim was ready to be done with it too and robert green you I know only you know about Timu. I wouldn't download the app. I'm skeptical. Oh, I've ordered so much crap from there. It's like ordering crap from the dollar store. Jason Tung wants a Skunk Works jersey. <laughs> you Every, can have it, Reds. Old timers. Everybody's gonna want one. Yeah, I got some. Uh, I got some chain from from the Duke. Three eight slow pro. We're gonna try it out on the Echo today. <laughs> Yeah. It's got a little bit narrower tooth. A little bit narrower tooth than the still. So we'll see. It's stock right out of the box. <laughs> I'm not kidding, Duke Country. Only three in existence. I had to make one for Jamie Bob. Johnny, yeah. Uh-oh. No way. Reds Tillers, I don't want it. Johnny Arnett, hit that thumbs up, he says. Thanks, Johnny. 
What's the difference between 3 eighths regular and 3 eighths low pro? Goats. Firewood and Farms with a $20 super chat. Thank you, Goats. I appreciate that, buddy. John Bob, you're never going to forget that. I'll show you. Fuselet. Fuselet. Here we go. Chain chat. Chainsaw chain. Chainsaw chainsaw chain. <laughs> Chainsaw, chainsaw, chain. Okay. Now. What's the difference between... I'm, gonna, I'm getting on it right here. Okay. This, I did. That's why I'm getting the chainsaw, chainsaw, chain out. Here we go. Okay, see that? That's three eighths low pro. <laughs> this is three eighths. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> That's the difference. Smaller chain. 3 8 three eighths low pro is smaller chain. Smaller drivers. Right? Shorter and smaller. Shorter off the chain. Narrower curve. This side is 3 eighths low pro. This side is regular 3 eighths. Full chisel. Huh? And the, the, the Duke's chain, the tooth, is a bit narrower the front of the tooth is a bit narrower than steel chain. <clears throat> Same pitch, scaled down. Yep. Different file needed. Yes, different file need. Less drag, faster with the same HP. Not as strong. The 3 8 low pro isn't as strong as regular 3 8 Rivets are smaller. Smaller rivets, right? Weaker side, weaker strap, weaker links. Don't go Judy chopping and Kung Fu kicking at the same time. Bam, there goes your leg. That's it. That's it. That's so what happened too, huh, John Bob? You was, you was ninja and somebody didn't need ninja. You saying I should make some 3 8 slow pull roll for my ported saws? I should stick a 325 or quarter pitch on a 395. The 325, now, now 325, 325, 63 gauge. Would probably be pretty awesome <laughs> especially like for milling with a big saw that's what they used to do they did it with the big home lights that's why that big nine tooth three two five sprockets out with the big spline center is for them big whole home lights the big 925s that's what they did they put three two five chain on it for the for their milling size because it's a narrower curve they're working on it Square port and round port. I don't know. <laughs> we don't speak shade tree. I don't know. Square port and round port. If that has to do with porting, John Bob probably knows about that. 
Why don't people use low pro all the time if faster? It's weaker. It's weaker. It it won't hold up to it won't hold up to to a big like big sauce. It won't it won't hold up. <laughs> And they don't, I don't think they make, I don't make, the, I don't think they make a sprocket for it. You might be able to run it on a regular 3.8 sprocket though, but uh, with that shorter drive, with the shorter driver, I don't know as though it would work. Don't be like some other YouTubers and bragging about how much faster someone's said saws are when running 3.25 on ported 70cc saws. Hey, Ron. Aaron, good to see you, Aaron. I may have to pick up some from the Dukes to check it out. Got to go clean snow before it gets dark. Right on, Reds. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks for joining us. Working on it. Good to see you. I run 3.8 Slow Pro on my ported, ported 026. Cuts like butter. But the edge is much more fragile and doesn't hold an edge like regular 3 8 anything is possible kenny there are custom rims out oh i know there are custom rims out there but they're a ripoff i'm just flat gonna say it that's a joke i looked at nine and i looked at the nine tooth the nine nine pin i can get a 10 pin but i look me john bob and i were looking at those custom made things that's ridiculous no way. If I was a racing guy and that's all I did is drive around the country and race my hot rod chainsaw, yeah, I'd probably be able to afford one, but not, no, no. Let's put 325 on your 880. 3.8 is always faster than 325 for me. Mr. Lynch, what's the difference between round porting and square porting? Fast square ground. 026 should pull full size 38s just fine. Different 325 nine tooth rims. Yeah, if you can find that if you can find the nine tooth for the big big spine, like they made for the home lights back in the day, those are still around. Port shapes, I assume. Uh, I assume, Kevin, does one make more power than the other? It's so crappy outside. Does one make more power than the other? Hi, John, Bob. Other kids showed up. Gotta go. <laughs> Thanks, John Bob. Appreciate you, brother. <clears throat> I keep mine kind of square. Works for me. <clears throat> go see just super chats and then take a nap. You just take some nap. Is that here anymore? Oh, goats. We talking square versus round intake on a 365, 372, perhaps? Square versus round. Square port. Norvik! Did you see a Norvik? Both square and round ports have their pros and cons. I talked to a guy the other day, had a set of square ported heads on a 350 small block that eats big blocks all day long for lunch. Ooh, cars. We're talking a small block Chevy. 
<laughs> you guys, I lost me a long time ago. That might be a whole different situation there. <laughs> right <up. Damn> it. <laughs> <laughs> Got me wondering if maybe it makes more power than round. I don't know. We making a V8 chainsaw? Great. I'd be fun. It's Aaron an idea. Ben, Mama Taz, we nice. all lost it. We all lost us a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, Ben. <laughs> Baseball? Where? When? <laughs> softball. Soon. <laughs> yeah, softball's coming. Good country. Charlie will get back at it after <laughs> spring break. Next Monday, she'll be back at it. Small blocks are all square port. Big block have square and oval. That is awesome. Can't wait. Mr. Lynch, I've got an idea for one. Shh, don't tell my wife. Oh, Daryl Johnson. Good to see you, Daryl. I think we got enough gas in the old in the old echo. All you need is a splash. Oh no. No. Oh. Jason, square can move more air over round of the same size, but round can have more velocity. Oh yeah, we got lots of gas in there. <whistles> Little sneak peek, chain test for the old Duke's chain, 3 8 low pro. <laughs> huh? Your people, I'm just reading comments. You let the fire go out? Not my job. I'm cold. It's not my shed. I'm cold. We'll just get her going. Tinkerville got two feet of snow. Tinker, two feet? What? Two feet more of snow here in the great northern woods in New Hampshire. Wow. That's the highest number yet. Woodchuck, we got two feet more. Great North Woods of New Hampshire. Oh, no, Thirsty Thursday, two stroke live. Let's go. Good to see you, Tinkerville. My fire's been going since last night. Fired up. Big Nor'easter. 6.0 power saw. Ben, I'm cold. Taz, you sound just like her. You must have had lots of practice. <laughs> smart ass. Too many smart asses in this group. Don't miss it at all. This old bad boy's ready to rock. Yeah, so we'll get to see how much it stretches, too. Right? I have a donor engine. Oh, boy. Here we go. Plus 50 to 60 mile an hour winds. Oh, boy. I don't sound like much fun, Tinkerville. Weisenheimer. <laughs> what size, John? 6.0. Six blown away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's not raining, is it? No. No, it's super windy. Lots to do with velocity, case compression, 
size of the cubes and a variety of other options that will probably put you into the bar and two stroke oil debate territory. Those little 2511s are pretty amazing for 25cc. They are on it. They are, Aaron. It's crazy. 6.0 power stroke. Heard the Duke's chain holds edge noticeably longer than Oregon milling from a close friend. Right on, Scott Wilson. That's good information, buddy. How about that white oak <laughs> Tom Joiner Beauty last fundraiser for Tazapalooza? Is it bulletproof? This one? Good country? Is this one you're talking about? Yeah? Oh, yeah, buddy. It's a dandy. A dandy. Wowza, good country says. Kevin, nope. Not even running right now. It sounds to me like it's ready for a bullet. Or it already took one. Dandy axe. <clears throat> well, that a four for you. Solar eclipse on Monday here. I took the day off. It took one <laughs> forward. Right on, Fuselet. Yeah, I can't wait to see the videos and the pictures and stuff like that of that thing. Looking forward to seeing that. We won't get it here. But. Yeah, weird. Are you going to go run that thing? I think so. Liven up the chat? I think so. I might. <laughs> might scare me. Mm -hmm. Woo -hoo! <laughs> Do that outside. There's no joke and I haven't run that saw in over a week. No joke, two poles. <laughs> yeah. Kind of neat last total eclipse I remember. Seeing was when I was a kid, hopefully the weather cooperates. Yeah, hopefully it does too, buddy. I hope it does. Quentin! Good to see you, Quentin! Right, Fusler? Yeah, buddy. We had the birds were singing their evening songs. Tax lady says, I got money coming back. I think I see a new saw in my future. Or a new shotgun. Whatever works. Right on, Curly Bill. Good to see you, Curly. Old Snappy out there. Old Snappy. Both Curly Bill. <laughs> Good to be seen, Taz. There needs to be a Tasman bobblehead, right? Let's make one. <laughs> I wish, and if they made it with sound, like 
just that sound right there just Yeah. Y'all have a good evening. Gotta go shovel the white crap. <laughs> right on Tinkerbell. Great to see you, buddy. Super great to see you. Alright, let's go. Let's go let's go give her a run, huh? What am I hung up on? <laughs> tug, tug. Fishing. All right, there we go. We can make some small cuts here today, huh? Where are we at? I want this thing to not be, have the sound all messed up.
chatter it chatters it's not as smooth as steel is right out of the box that I that I can tell right now <laughs> We'll have to mess with the rakers. Get rid of that chatter. The chatter's pretty bad. <coughs> I didn't even check the rakers. I didn't check nothing. I just want to run it right out of the box. Cuts though. <laughs> Cuts? Man, that saw rips. <laughs> that thing is so fun. And it would be closer. Practice makes perfect. Casterman, good to see you, Casterman. It's not Barney, Aaron. Barney. I hate that. <laughs> all these cookies you cut wind up being Bigfoot, Bigfoot Frisbees.
That chain's way faster on your saw than the other. I, that other one was. It's showing. fast. Yeah. Watch it's out. fast. Brother. <laughs> Matt T. Good to see you, Matt T. <laughs> Hi, Casterman. Ever notice what excuses are male and reasons are female? What? Are male and reasons are female? Jimmy. Hi, Matt. Yeah, those rakers are low. They're low. They're lower than they're lower than the softwood setting. And for 25 cc's, <laughs> that's that's not a, that's that's not, usually not a very good recipe. I can't believe how loud that little thing is. It rips. That, it, it just rips. That's all there is to it. You're going to have to go climb a tree. Well, I'm hoping maybe next weekend I'll be able to go up and do something up at my brother's place. Yeah. One of these days he's going to turn me loose and it's over. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened, you guys. And a piece of bark stuck between my dog and the yeah. case. I could see what You a steel twelve <laughs> inch pole saw bar and quarter pitch archer clutch drum from the Duke. <laughs> Walk back in <laughs> Willworth in here, right? 372 started up in three pulls after sitting for three weeks. Ren also made tons of big chips. Right on, J. Chris. Yeah, it's, yeah, the rakers are way low. <laughs> but that's part of testing chain, right? Oh, my saw's all dirty again. Damn it. Bring her in the house, keep her well clean though. Did you get to run that saw old timer? I love that saw. Should get a two eighty eight or three ninety five next time. <laughs> three ninety five. Jay Chris, get a three ninety five. If you're going to go heavy, you might as well go 395. My opinion, that's just my opinion. Three ninety five and two eighty eight should not be in the same category <laughs> or sentence. Goat says <laughs> nature and hund. Good to see you, nature. Or train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings from Germany. Hmm. Yeah, three ninety five all the way, Jay Chris. Three ninety five. If I was younger, I would jump on a three ninety five. Well, you can run Kenny's when you get here. Two eighty eight or yours. You could have stopped there. 
Got my friend 395 in the shop, but I haven't cut anything with it. Runs good, just needs the fuel vent kit to get here. <laughs> 288 hertz compared to a 372. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Here we go. Might need to race my father in law's 288 XP versus my 372. Get them, good country. It's a hair better than a 55 and a cord and a cord ranger. Dana. Dana Hudson. Hi, Dana. There's the boss. Just bought a 592. He's loving it. Brian. Right on Casterman. Good to see you, Brian. The only type of chainsaws that are turds are the ones <laughs> that you buy at Home Depot or Lowe's or Crappy Tire. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I don't like 288s, Aaron says. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Is John here? He was. Yeah, he was here. <laughs> He's probably hiding now, huh, Dana? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heard the carbs are sucky in the 288s. I think all carbs are sucky, aren't they? Isn't that what they're supposed to do? Not my boss. I'm in the shop. Big, heavy, slow, and gutless. Oh, husband. I'm in the shop. She's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Make Indiana cornbread. <laughs> Greetings from Germany. 288 carbs are great. On a 266. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. Good to see you, Viking. Yeah. Gosh darn it. I'll just have to file it. It's that simple. Just have to file it. Baking. Indiana cornbread. Good to see you, cornbread. Three ninety-five next time. My next question is: Neotech or Farmer Tech? Two eighty eight or Mac. Yeah, I'll go with the two eighty eight. All oh, goats. Goat says farmer tech. Mom won't be home <laughs> till late tonight, so me and the boy are having McDonald's in the tractor supply parking lot this evening. Right on, Brian. Here in Farmer Tech for life. It's better when you have to file the rakers on a new loop. Why not from Skunk Work Saw Shop? Yeah. Buy it. And have them ship it to John Bob. Have them build you a really nice 395. Yep. Dana asked you a question. Dana, will you raffle off those axes you showed us last time? One of them. I'm raffling this one off. This one's up right now on the website, Dana. The they voted on the three and a half pound. Craftsman splitter on the white oak handle. It's a dandy splitter. Dandy, dandy, dandy. I want to build a saw someday. I think you should do that, Muffler. I think you should start building saws. You know, I didn't even have to see that. Give that, that. give that know. Gap Arborist place to call maybe i think they're i think they need need a guy just like you to pour sauce for them <laughs> i 
Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we'll have time to do those ones as well, Dana. But something might happen with those at Tazapalooza as well. I thought I voted number one. <laughs> well, the majority voted for number three. So number three, that's how we work around here, right? Which number was that X? Number three. There's the link. There's the link to the website with the information on it. John Arnett's ways. Want a saw built? Just give me a call. I'll let Hopper know. <laughs> How you guys doing, Johnny? What do you guys? What do you? What part are you tearing into now? What part are you at? Where you at, buddy? On the build. Number two with number one handle. <laughs> Gosh, a lot of so many people building saws nowadays. Muffler, yeah. Mr. Bill Hopper, John Bob, Aaron, Kevin, Jason, Jason Tong, Kevin McKetty, Chainsaw Canuck, Chippy. Chip Chip, Evan. Evan, Evan's got a great collection. JK. JK. I have to go get more stuff done for my rodeo tomorrow. Wish me luck. Oh, Good luck, Dana. I hope the weather's nice for you, too. Uncle Johnny, I'm in the market for a saw. What kind of saw are you looking for, Curly Bill? <clears throat> Head and rod are done. Working on the carb also. Right on, buddy. I want a new smoker. Someone stole mine two years ago. Nothing like smoked ribs and smoked turkeys. Just build one. Yeah, build one. Goats, I'll ship it to you. Tazapalooza is the West Coast event. She's in the saddle bronc riding. <laughs> there you go, Brian. I've got an axe with a busted handle. I just picked up a handle from Lowe's. I think I'm going to take a page from Mr. Arnett's book and try and dress it up a bit. Heck yeah, Brian. Do it, buddy. Whittle that thing down, whether you got to use sandpaper or whatever you got to use to get it to fit your hand right, where it feels good to you. Heck yeah. Hudson, I highly doubt that. Yeah, goats. I might do that. Good excuse to buy a welder from... Harbor Freight. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Big, ugly, and fast, just like me, Taz. That's the saw I'm looking for. <laughs> Big, ugly, and fast. Huh. Can you believe it? I only got like three wood chips in my boots. I got a red stand-up Weber charcoal smoker. Noise. Big, ugly, and fast. I don't know if they made one of them. Them, they made all, they made some that were big and ugly, all them but they weren't fast, Curly Bill. All them Husker Varners are ugly. Oh, hey, hey, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, whoa. What is that nonsense? They are. What is this nonsense they coming are. from the corner over there? They're dumb. What? They're dumb. Oh, my. Woo. Titan welders seem to be pretty good. 362, that's pretty... What are you talking about, J. Chris? Them's fighting words. <laughs> fighting words. Mama Taz, what the heck? Here we go. Look what you started. Right? <laughs> Country. <laughs> I'm always starting shit. Yeah, jumper cables. I don't care. I got a big, ugly, fast saw. <laughs> no, you don't. That saw's not ugly. You used to call me fast, good country. <laughs> Mama Taz, you got it wrong. It's McCulloch and oh. the color of a damn banana. That's right. 
Sorry, Chip. My bad. My 650 Evil Echo is fast and ugly. <laughs> No such thing as an ugly saw, Brian Johnson says. That's right. Cool your jets down back there, Sparky. <laughs> <laughs> this one is, LOL, I got to work on it after the other five to six saws get done first. That 362 is cool, man. Those are cool saws. I didn't see Mama Taz running the right saw on the Tazapalooza itinerary. <laughs> well, because that thing is going to the dump. I hate that thing. Good thing these chainsaw bars Johnny sent me to make knives with are stills. Maybe now they can actually cut something. Oh my, I don't know. My 2094 is a little. No, nah, the 2094 ain't ugly, buddy. Paint it. 362, I got by trading a nice CS590 for it. That's 362. Those are just cool saws. I know the power to weight ratio is out the window with them and whatever because they're on a 372 chassis, but it's just cool that it's a 362. You know what I mean? It's cool that they put it in that chassis in. Yeah, and you don't see a lot of them, man. I don't, anyway. That's for sure. Come on, for the kids. No. That thing doesn't even run. I'm going to send that thing home with Johnny, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw so much shit in that pickup. <laughs> Best part is I only had 150 in the 590. That's a good deal. It's a good deal because, you know, I mean, if you wanted to turn it into a 372, you could turn it into a 372. Pretty sure. I just think they're a cool saw. Don't drive like Mama Taz. You'll never. You'll live longer. I love my 590. Y'all know what you're talking about, Curly. Let's park roll again. It's hot in here. might but i'll probably run it as a stalker first has a super nice piston and cylinder yeah i'd run it i'd run it to death i've not ran a 590 to be honest domar 3900 are big saw and fun to run mine is ported good to see you goats Bye, have a good evening buddy Appreciate you, man. Thanks for the super chat. Fifty thumbs up. Let's go, Tasmaniacs. Really? Very nice, Michael. Yeah, forty-six. My show's forty-six anyway. Seventy-nine ten is fun too. When are you thinking about doing the axe draw? A couple of weeks. Uh, a week or two, probably. Super happy with the highway top end and the 372. Hard to decide. Leader goats. Go see. Oh, goats. Stop it. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, goats. I appreciate it, buddy. That's awesome.
Oops, Firewood and Farms. See you, old timer. Glad you liked your saw. <laughs> yeah, everybody go over and check out old timers. Hot Rod 372 cone. Did they put one from the okay. the Aaron A. Lynch? I'll save up my allowance, Andrew says. Give me all your money, Sparky. That's two Wawa coffees in my world. <laughs> Later, everyone. Sure do, goats. Thanks. <laughs> so, I, so I was watching some of Jeff Schroeder's videos the other day, and I came across one that he was giving away a t-shirt you had to be subscribed and you had to share that video and comment on that video share the video out to other social media and whatever well i ended up winning the shirt <laughs> so i'm gonna open it right here right now and we're gonna check it out oh, I got a new shirt. jeff schroeder if you're another another axe guy does tree work and stuff as well on his channel. Another good one to check out for for tips on climbing and taking trees out. And he sells axes as well. Old vintage axes. Yeah, Sparky, I get you. He just one. he just put one up. Ungood. Hopefully it perks up by Taz Blue 2024. Congrats, Taz. Kenny, do you have Wawa's there where you are? No, I don't know what a Wawa is. Jeff, do awesome work and videos. I love watching his stuff. I hope so for you as well, Andrew. Have a link? Not sure if I'm subbed. I don't think I'm subbed. Oh, no way. Oh, and he sent a cool couple cool decals. Who is it? Jeff Schroeder. You know how fun it is to search for people on YouTube? Tree removal, stump grinding, pruning, and fire prevention. Free estimates at Beast Mode Tree Service, LLC, at gmail.com. Jeff Schroeder. Beast Mode Tree Service. Check it out. I don't, and I'm not going to take forever to look for it. You should just be able to type in Jeff Schroeder. Search on YouTube. Let me see the box. Maybe I spelled his name wrong. Oh, yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that. Beast Mode Tree Service. That's awesome. You got to like that. I'm going to put it on right now. <laughs> Is it you say Jeff Schroeder? Well, there might be more than one no. There the isn't. He has seven point seven subs. Yep. Oh, it fits just right. <laughs> It's just right. Oh, screwed up. <clears throat> Heck yeah. There, Chip. Hoo -hoo! Fits just right. Thanks, Jeff Schroeder. That's a nice shirt. Right on. I like a front pocket. 
it's a convenience store here. No, we don't have Wawa's. Front pocket for the darts. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's nice. Beast mode tree service. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Apparently your sub built it. That's pretty cool. Thanks, J. Chris. If I don't fit, you must fit. Don't fit, you must acquit. Apparently, I'm subbed. Right on, Chip. It's a nice shirt. It is a nice shirt. Sleeves probably have to come uh, off. No, why do you leave the sleeves on? <laughs> so dumb. Gotta roll them up like no. they did, like they you did in the my, 50s. You want my smokes like to roll up in there? Yeah. Freaking weirdo. We used to do that. I don't give a shit what you used to do. You know, my brother used to do that. Roll our cigarette pack when they, you know, with the hard packs. Did it in the 50s. Yeah. Something. We were cool. Check that out. Old school. Old soul, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I roll my own smokes, Jay Chris. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's nice material. It's soft. Yeah, it's a nice shirt. You might lose that one then. I don't think so. Uh, you won't wear it if I cut when I cut the sleeves off. <laughs> Gildan. Jason, he's cut. I don't think he even owns a t shirt anymore. Oh, yeah, I do. What, two? I got quite a few t shirts, no, really. No, you don't. Oh, yeah. I don't wear them much, but I got them. <laughs> $23 for 2.5 cartons that way. It'll be hot soon. May as well cut the sleeves. Yep. Jason, you're not helping cause. <laughs> ah, yeah, Jason. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Marty. Marty Rudder. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Marty. Thanks for joining us, buddy. <laughs> Carton of Marlboros. <laughs> I like Gildan shirts. How many Marty sleeveless all the way? Res up here sell big bags of darts for cheap. <laughs> what? Darts. Why are we talking about darts? That's what they call cigarettes up there. Is oh darts. my god, I forgot you guys are dumb. I kept my smokes in my possible bag back in the Civil War days. <laughs> I don't know, what are they? Uh, who's I talking to? They Sleeves are just on there for the wings and need them. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Jason. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dart. Dart. God. Pack of darts. There's something else they call something different. Is it flats? Flats? That's flat. a case. A flat. A case. Yeah, the case is a flat. I know. Kevin McKitty messaged me the other day. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. What's a flat? We need to teach Mama how to lip point. How to lip point. What the hell is that? I'm not sure I know what that is, Scott Wilson. What do you... Oh, Jason. Heck, Marty, don't forget the thumbs up, Tasmaniacs. Thanks, good country. Michael was just looking at some pictures from the Bunyan event. Good memories. Mm -hmm. If you got sleeves, you don't need a snot rag. That's right, Kirby. That's gross. Click, 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 Johnny says. <laughs> well, you missed a few. So. Yeah, Johnny. <clears throat> See, y'all don't know. <laughs> sure you like that time together, Marty. 
Making memories, making memories. I'll teach you Canadian when I get there, or I'll send you Rosetta Stone Canuck version. Rosetta Stone. Nah. Y'all freaking Canadians are losing it. <laughs> Rosetta Stone Canuck must have been hardcore. Or some opera bullshit. <laughs> so is old timer wanting me to pick him up, or do you want Kenny and Johnny to pick you up? Get with the times, Corey. We're invading. Teaching Canadian equals maple syrup and hockey. Yeah, obviously. Okay. <laughs> My grandmother was a lip pointer, never said a word. It was eyebrows up, lips pointing in the direction of whatever she wanted. I got whipped so many times, confused as hell. <laughs> Later, taters, I got dad stuff to do, muffler out. Right on, muffler. Good to see you, brother. Gotcha. That's kind of funny. We're going to need to learn Chinese if I stays in. Yeah. Mama, what's safer? Boss Probably Kenny and Johnny. Boss me. Granny screwdriver. No. I can't see where the shit in the dark, so. It'll be 2.30 in the morning. Need to spend some time. Billy, you need to spend some time in Canada to understand the lip pointing. You speak Canadian, eh? <laughs> oh, goodness sakes. It's raining. It's raining. Now it's raining. Yes. Good night, Muffler. Chippy. Old timer Corey may flip the vehicle. The way she drives, bouncing off the shoulders to know she's on the road. <laughs> we'll get you, old timer. <laughs> <laughs> It might be kind of scary to ride with Mama Taz after you rode a train for that many miles. It'd be like riding a jet. Starting her in here again, too. Well, the weather person was right on. Yesterday when I looked at the weather, it was supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow. I thought lip pointing was a native thing. It's, it is down here. She does pay taxes for both sides. Yeah, take mine out. Take my part out of the middle. That's how I drive <laughs> on back roads. Have any other sneak peeks there, Tasman? I don't think so. Sneak peeks. I don't think so, good country. That Duke's chain is, it, it's a good chain, though. It stretched a little bit, not, didn't stretch a whole lot, but for the price, I don't, I don't know, I don't know so you can beat it. It's not a van, Scott. Like a minivan jet, like a minivan jet. <laughs> My grandma was from Texas. <coughs> Rain and tornado warnings yesterday was a bit nerve wracking. I'll bet, Marty. I'm we don't get all that tornado crap. Mama Taz is gonna be the ambulance driver again yep, at Taz Palooza this I was year. Last yeah, year. her and her and Megan. I was last her, year. Her and Megan. Woo woo. That's yep. probably why nobody hurt themselves. <clears throat> Paramedics. Yep. Just throw your ass in the back of the van life. Whole bunch. And Holly into the. <laughs> <Curry Bill. laughs> Just saying. Hey, if I take you, it's cheaper. Just saying. 52 thumbs up. Heck yeah. Noise. <laughs> See, here's the thing with that, Curly. If we tell everybody and everybody knows that she's going to be the one driving them, driving them to the hospital, yeah. they're going to take their time and they're going to be a little bit more yeah. careful, I believe. Pay a little attention. Right? Just saying. 
<laughs> it's ready for the ride to the ER. Kept people saying, that's right, fuse lit. And it wouldn't be the first time I hauled ass down that Woodhole Road. If you ain't hurt bad, you will be after the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Had a tornado go through my property five years ago. Lost about 40 trees, snapped off halfway up. Oh, that's Dang, Marty. I feel a bad accident in my future. I'll take that ambulance ride any day. I'll get you there in a hurry. So who's going to drive the hearse? JK. JK. <laughs> the swivel handle assembly is done, and the carb is bolted on. Yeah, Johnny and Hopper. Johnny Arnett and Bell Hopper. Oh, man. They're bringing, a, they're bringing a relic back to life as we speak. Scott Wilson, he's building, they're building an IEL, 1948 or 49, IEL, with the swivel, with the swivel bar, oh yeah, the oil is in the, uh, the bar oil is in the handlebar, yeah buddy, it's sick. South Florida when some uh, hurricane came through in 1992. Worst damage I've ever seen in my life. Go Johnny. That's crazy. It's a good team for thumbs up. Yeah, that IEL is going to be awesome. AB model you were looking for parts for. Yeah, Scott. That's the one, buddy. If anybody knows anybody that's got one of them old saws, we're looking for uh we're looking for a bar plate and a one of the covers on the either the very top cover or the one of the side covers. Florida always down through the keys. Chippy, can you speak any newfie? How's you getting on now, bye? Bye. Matt Chop Shop. Good to see you, Matt. Matt. Slick. How's everyone doing? Doing great, Matt. How are you, buddy? Really good, good to see you. Yeah. Looking for a few parts. Says needs a tuner drift car. I'm thinking GTR in my future. <laughs> it's a IEL model AB P gear drive. Tree fella may have some parts. Does he have some IEL stuff? Maybe. I know he's got old Mac two man saw stuff. And Doing good. I'm working in Kentucky this weekend and next. Right on. You actually said Kentucky, right? Oh, Kentucky. <laughs> Down in JKville. Mm -hmm. How you been? It's been a minute. Oh, Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky Highway. <laughs> oh, man. John Arnett, how are you, brother? Yeah, IEL. Such a cool saw. Got a drop. Have a great evening, everyone. Thanks, Fuselet. Appreciate you, man. Keep on rocking. Rocking in the rain. Barely raining. Barely raining now. It's coming. Blood. I need to, yes. Flood warnings. I want it to flood. East Coast. I have some Irish in me, apparently, but I don't speak Newfie. Phenom. Phenom. Thanks, Phenom. IEL Chainsaw. Public group, 840, 841 members. Yeah. Thanks, Phenom. I appreciate that, buddy. I got on there and tried to... Johnny found somebody too that we, we've been trying to get a hold of a person that has has parts but we get no return but we keep trying i keep trying on that 
on there to try to get a hold of those those people that are on there. What was that food you spoke of on your short video? Ramps. Johnny was eating fried taters, ramps, chicken, and peas. What are ramps? Ramps are wild onions. Okay, what does John, Bob, and Aaron get all the time? Ramps. No. Yes. That's not what they are. It's ramps. They're called something else. No, it's ramps. Unless it's that fruit thing. That, yeah. I don't know what that big fruit that thing Aaron, Aaron, that Aaron had that time. I don't, know what that I don't remember what that was. I can't remember. Whatever it is, I don't, we don't have See y'all later. Good to see you, Jay Chris. <clears throat> Chainsaw collectors. I never heard of ramps. Next week. Old timer, I just watched Blue Saw, Blue Saw unboxing video. Old timer, yeah, buddy. Paw paws, yeah, paw paws. That's what it is. Paw paws. That's what they are. See? Here, I'll send you. Most of the newfie buys, I know, speak screech until they've been off the rock at least five years and immediately reset after five Canadians are down. I just sent you the, <laughs> I just sent you the link that Fino sent you. Yep, Matt. It was wonderful. No. Nope. Made a brisket Easter Sunday with a smoky maple rub from my buddy of mine in Texas that made it taste like pepperoni sticks. Phenom, how are you? Matt says. Boat ramps? <laughs> I guess he might grow on a boat. <laughs> out in the boat. The go out in the boat. Acres Internet. Acres Internet. Yeah, I even talked to old uh, Tom Chacones about. IEL parts. Oot in the boot. Yeah, <laughs> oot in the boot. <laughs> About to welcome a farm all SMTA to the farm and a hammer mill. Cool, Matt. You're such a weirdo. Paw paws. Indiana cornbread. What would make my 461 shut off when I turn it upside down? Mm. Does it do it instantly? Fishing season opens up soon. Going to get some kokanee after I get some gobblers. Right on, Jason. Turkey hunting too, huh? OP forum. Thanks for all this research, Fino. Red Steeler's back. How was the shoveling, buddy? Did it start snowing again so you gave up? Or did you get her done? Fino, you could just email that to Kenny. Anyone close to Robards, Robards, Kentucky? Paw Paw is a fruit, which we have in Western Maryland. Welcome back, Reds. Stiff fuel line. Yeah. LOL, Scott. No place like the rock. Got it done with the snowblower. Right on, Reds. Probably a safety feature, buddy. Why would you run a saw upside down? That, Matt? Um, JK. No, it bogs down first like it's running out, but it's full. Huh. Just use the top of the bar. Phenom is the best. <laughs> it bogs down first like it's running out, but it's full. 
Could be a pulse line. Air leak. Aaron A. Lynch says air leak. Well, not completely upside down. The humble. Okay, so it's on. So which side's up? Starter side up? Yeah, I would say air leak. Aaron says air leak. Yep. Aaron says air leak. I would say air leak. Do you have gas in it? The fuel line is stick stuff. If if the fuel line is stiff, it can stick suck air while upside down. What dear? I just asked if there was gas in it. Yeah, it's full. Okay. Old timer. We'll have to go by everyone. See you in June. Thanks, old timer. Have fun with your new saw, buddy. <laughs> Bye, old timer. Three weeks until trout and turkey here can't. <laughs> Come soon enough. Aaron it's always an air leak. <laughs> Crank seals then. Always an air leak, Aaron says. Bye, old timer. <clears throat> John Hudson. <laughs> Spray it down. <laughs> Spray it down, you will find a leak somewhere. Starter. That's more of a wind tunnel, <laughs> Mr. Hudson. <laughs> oh, Think I'll try the seals. Yeah. The lighter. I like the lighter wood. That's a dandy axe right there. Holy smokes. Just where is it leaking is the real question. Where it is where is it leaking is the real question, right? Get out the old carb cleaner. <laughs> or pressure tester if you got one of those, cornbread. Vacuum pressure testers. Could be intake though too, couldn't it, Aaron? Could it just be the intake boot? I mean, it could. I said what you said first, Taz. I said pulse line. I was planning to start on tomorrow. Told a person or two today between that ear and that <laughs> ear, there's nothing. <laughs> 902 hello everybody what did i miss leonardo batista good night kenny puller good to see you leonardo tasman love those videos from you special wood place a peaceful place for sure absolutely marty it is it is a great place to go and get away and run saws and swing axes so rainous. and or just sit on a stump joe rain is such up tazzers <laughs> Just popping in. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while, Joe. I hope everything's going good for you, buddy. Great to see you. Aaron. Still an air leak. That reminds me, Joe. Thank you, Leonardo. I was going to open that thing. For some, if they had dynamite for brains they wouldn't have enough to blow their nose wow what were you gonna do i was gonna open that thing that joe sent us that oh yeah shade thing. yeah I'm our shade open it and check it out since we're getting kind of close to 
Yeah, yeah we better get that figured out and then where it's going to go and how we're going to. Yeah. Like, I, there's, Jesus. Keep it I'm so upright. so overwhelmed with that whole setup. Hudson and Rudder. Just Tazin. John Hudson says, just Tazin. <laughs> I think we should put Hudson and Dana right next to our camper. Oh, boy. Yeah. Let the shenanigans begin. Oh, it yeah. doesn't matter. If they're on the same property, it ain't going to matter. <laughs> it's on anyway. Great. Mm. I love my chainsaw. Still MS-382 Brazilian chainsaw. Yeah, Leonardo. Chip chip. It's about time for dinner, isn't it? It's got to be. It's like bedtime. A shady place to hang out under. Yeah, Joe. Who knows what the weather is going to do. Side dies. The side that's up is the seal that's leaking. Oil runs away from the seal and lets it suck air. Good to know, Jason. Just told Michael Old Timer. I was looking at Bunyan pictures today. Good times. Newfoundland is an island in the North Atlantic and is... The most eastern province of Canada, commonly called the Rock. Hmm. Bunyan was fun. Chalupa will never be the same. It's not Chalupa. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Cornbread. Keep us posted on that, Cornbread. To see what you come up with. See what you find in your investigation. Chewbacca. Chewbacca, Chalupa, Cholula. It's Chowila. What's what's some of the other good ones that folks have? Chowala. Chowala. Chula. Husqvarna 365 Special. New chainsaw produced in Brazil. In Sao Carlos, interior of state of Sao Paulo. Three sixty-five is a good chainsaw, Leonardo. Chewbacca. Chewbacca. <laughs> ch 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 Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Ch 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 lala. Ch ch lala. Oh man. Oh my gosh, Chip. <laughs> Chippy's just ding Stop. ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> Glad everyone came out and supported the great family for Chilea. <laughs> Chile. Oh my gosh. Had enough of you people. I hope to make a few events this year. Right on, Matt. That's cool, man. I know everybody'd love to see you. That's for sure. Everybody loves you, Matt. You're such a weirdo, Chip. We just call it over yonder. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> oh, man. Awesome. Well. I'm going to jump off here, everybody, and get something to eat and hang out for a little bit. Tonight will be my night to stay up all night long and get ready for night shift. Last four days. If everything stays the same, this will be my last four night shifts. I won't have to work any more night shifts. I'm going to a different job, working for the same company, but I'm getting out of the mill and I'm going to the hill, up to the quarry where we get the rock to make our sand. Yeah, so, so things, that, yeah, there is a good country. I guess I didn't think about this this way, but I guess it is kind of a sneak peek because uh, I things, things are going to be different on the channel, for sure. I'm working straight days, like I said, no more night shifts and... No, no, no more of that business, so. And I'll have weekends off, so. We'll see. 
So hopefully it all stays the way it is right now and then we'll uh, move into a different job. How can you tear up the internet if you're not working nights? <laughs> Blessings to all. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Marty Rudder. Thanks, good country. Cornbread. Matt, great to see you, buddy. Billy. Phenom, appreciate you, buddy. Kevin Maxim, we love you, brother. John Hudson, thank you, John. Thanks, Andrew. Good country. That is awesome news, Tasman. Hope all works out, brother. Right on. Thank you, Marty Rudder. Enjoyed the live. Thanks, everyone. Be safe and be careful. Congrats on the new gig, Kenny. Thank you, 902. Thanks, everybody out there. Josh and Megan Hickey. Hicks. Hickory, we love you. We miss you. Wish we could have seen you today, but I'll be getting a hold of you, buddy. Joe Reynas, I appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate your support, Joe, around the whole community. I love it, buddy. Be safe out there, brother. Andrew Scott. Jason, thanks, buddy. Sore belly from the giggles. <laughs> That's good. That's a plus. John Hudson. Dana Hudson. Awesome. Casterman. Aaron A. Lynch. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Goats, we love you, brother. Thank you so much for the super chats. Love you too, Hudson. Helps a ton. It really does. Goatsy. All right. We love you all. Take care. Be safe. Tasman is rolling. Majestic Hunter, Placeholder, Warfordale, keep on rocking. Watch out, Sand Hill. That's right. That's right, Billy. I'm running an excavator with a jackhammer on the end of it. I'm sure you'll make if a video. If that makes it, if that makes it any better. You'll make a video. I'm Big sure. giant jackhammer on the end of an excavator. Boom. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a blast. All right. Stay tuned.